Here we go, moment of truth. The cell's been unattended for the last seven hours. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Voltage crept up. Amps have crept up. From what I set it at, let's look and see what we got going on inside the cell here. That's much slower growth than I'm used to seeing. But as long as we don't have a, uh, a situation where we're making this crystal contact the bag, I'm happy. Let's take a look at this anode filter. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, the silver's collapsing down in there. That's what we want to see. That means it's being consumed. That's a good sign. I'm going to put some more silver crystal in here. And run some more double refined pure silver crystal back through the anode basket here to get triple refined pure silver crystal. That's what this batch is going to be when we do the harvest out of the cell. We're going to have triple refined pure silver crystal. That looks good. Let's take a look at the power here. We've got 1.5 amps, 2.0 volts. It's about 5 a.m. Saturday morning. Last time I checked the cell was about 4 p.m. Friday afternoon. I started the cell operating on Thursday afternoons. As you can see, the, uh, the crystals being consumed nicely in there. I'm going to charge this up. When I get done with this run, we'll have triple refined pure silver crystal out of this, which I've never had that before. I've always stopped at double because uh, well, that's all the further I needed to go. And our amps. And voltage is looking okay. Now oh, let's go look down inside the cell and see what kind of crystal growth we're getting after about uh, 36 hours. It's looking okay. It's not as much growth as I'm used to seeing uh, with the settings pulled back like we have them, but uh, I'll take it. It's going to be high purity silver when we get done with this. 36 hours of growth here.